Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to um, install this um, room. This is an Resurrection Remax or the RROS. Um, the version of this room is version 8.6.4 and we're going to install this room into our Samsung Galaxy G7 Prime. This is Y variant in front of you guys and before we get started, make sure to like and comment in this video and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell for you to be updated whenever I upload or I post a new video. So let's get started. So first, put your phone into recovery mode by pressing the power button, the volume up here, the volume up, and the home button at the same time. So let's, here it is. Just wait until the device boot into recovery mode and it, it can be either um, what type of recovery you have installed in your phone. So in my case, um, I installed the Orange Fax Recovery. Here you go. Um, this is the stable version. The version of this recovery is R11 and also you can be, um, you can be able to um, install this i provide a link in the description box for you to download and flash this um recovery so first thing first is wipe your phone here you go click the dalvik catchy system vendor data internet storage and select j or swipe to wipe here you go just wait until the phone successfully wipe and then back and after and after wiping your phone guys um copy all the files from your from your laptop or computer or desktop or any um personal computer via the usb cable so let's begin Here you go and copy all the copy all the files. So guys, we're now done transferring all the files and now let's proceed to the next step which is the installation. Let's check again the files here. Here we go, the seven the Exynos 7870 Creative Vendor 2.0 zip, the Edge Vendor and the RROS version 8.6.4. Um, this room is ARM 64 AB so that is why we have an edge vendor here because if we have a Spadget X or the tree blue then it will be not compatible because our room is AB but if you're going to install the ARM 64A only then your vendor would be the Spadget X or the tree blue but it's the same the great vendor it it's that remains so um let's move on to that and proceed to the installation step first things first is the creative vendor swipe the edge vendor and then back home and then reboot to recovery Here you go, just wait the phone until rebooting and yes. And after that guys, install the RROS and select as the system image. Here you go. Just wait until the flashing um successful. So 
so here guys um successfully flash and then go back and then next and the final step is the edge vendor swipe here you go so And after that, just reboot, just click the reboot system to reboot your device and see if the Resurrection Remix is successfully booted on our um, device. Let's wait. It will take up 5, 10 to 15 um, minutes. So we're going to leave this device here. And here you go. It takes up, I think, two minutes or a second or a minute, guys. So it is successfully um, Resurrection Remix version 8.6.4 successfully booted on Samsung Galaxy G7 um, Prime. So here you go, the logo. And anyway, this room is based on. It is basically based on Android. 10 with no it is arm 64a only oh no arm 64ab AB. so i think this room is a gsi and it is based on aosp i think because all of the custom room is based on aosp so let's get into the setup Next, next, here you go. Next, just click, click, next, guys. And there you go. Welcome to our, our best room ever. So here you go, the camera, the browser, the music, and the uh, messages, and the call call applications. This is a phone. Here you go, the, the launcher. I think the launcher is based on Google or the USB. I think this is the same as the Pixel experience. And here you go. This is now the panel, the quick panel settings. Oh my god, there is a lot of option here. So now let's ex exit this and go to about phone. About phone. So here you go, the device name is SMG981B, which is stands for um, the flagship of the Samsung, which it, I don't really mind it is correct. Yeah. The flagship because the edge vendor is based on the the flagship of the Samsung and as you can see there is an I am EI and Android version Android version 10 let's yeah resurrection remix build version this is 8.6.4 here you go and the vendor security is updated on April 1 and the kernel itself is the edge kernel version 1 and treble arm 64 yeah. i think the video is so zoom so sorry for that because i don't have really a camera and here we go also the battery and the resurrection tools which you can customize your device something like if you need a customization, then this room will suit for you. Here you go, a lot of customization here. It could either be the panels. Yeah, quick settings. System, interface, lag screen, animation, and... No. Um, the capacity bottom here in the above Oh no, in the bottom, it's not responding because I think the main reason is there is a navigation. So, 
Firefighters will disable the navigation. Navigation. Where is the navigation? I think that's assist in a system. Or the gesture. What? Oh my goodness. Where is it? Here. It will disable navigation bar, guys. And let's see if the capacity button here in the bottom will um, respond. In. Oh my god. Oh, it's working. So you need to disable first the navigation bar before you can use the capacity button. And the room is very smooth, something like. Yeah, as you can see. It's very smooth, guys. And. I think this is for all for today and if you want to install the Google Apps or the G Apps um, you need to download the G Apps in the XDE I will I think I will provide a link on that but I am here in my video I'm not going to install the Google Apps because I'm not really need that Google Apps because I have a backup phone but if you want the link then just comment down below so it's very smooth here you go yeah and there is also a recorder wait a minute it's about a recorder and a camera audio fix and yeah that's all for today guys hope you enjoy this video and you like make sure to do a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be updated whenever i upload videos see you next video bye